Hey, what's going on, everybody? We are back for our second season of the Dynasty. Big news, De'Ari King has decided to pass on the NFL Draft, so he will be back. Definitely looking forward to having him back. And also, wide receiver Mike Harley has decided to return as well. I think we're going to have a good offense. And you see Mike here just celebrating during the offseason before we get into spring practices here in a little bit. Jalen Knighton is getting some work in in the yard at the Miami Port. Looking forward to seeing how he does in his second season as he gets ready for spring ball. Definitely hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel. You're taking a look at newcomer, quarterback, freshman Jake Garcia as he gets to know his teammates a little bit. And he will be one of three quarterbacks that we're going to use during spring practices. You'll get a look at this before we get into the season. Defensive backs coach Tavares Robinson, T-Rob, is showing his squad, his players, some of the highlights that he had when he was a player. Before we get started into spring practice, as we get into taking a look at some of the newcomers and, and some things to work on with the Eric King out, we want to get a lift in right here. Got to get the squad stronger for the second season. We had a lot of close games last year, finished strong, and as you guys know, we ended up winning the national championship. Okay. We start with Alabama to begin the year, so spring practices are gonna be huge. Tyler Van Dyke, you see him switching numbers, wearing number nine. Okay, that was not a good pass. Let me keep working it here. Mike Harley. And also, I wanna get Will Mallory involved here. Let's get the ball to Will. Let's see if we can get him. Over the middle man okay so that's a tough he's just not getting open here okay here we go let's see if we can get him here on this rollout okay I'm close I gotta try it one more time I gotta get this he's got a little bit of wheels okay there that's a good catch good catch to end on so we're going with Peyton Matoka right here Larry Hodges is a guy I think is gonna step up he's definitely gonna have that opportunity behind Will Mallory and I know you guys are excited about Elijah Arroyo, the freshman as well, who's already enrolled. Definitely glad to have him on campus as well. Keyshawn Smith switching his number to number five. I had to have that update. He's going to be a player to watch for in the spring. Okay. I feel like the defensive lines coming in pretty hot here. Let's see if we can get some get some plays to work out a lot of receivers to look at Keyshawn Smith Restrepo's in there Jeremiah Payton also Oklahoma transfer Charleston Rambo I don't have him on the field right now Let's see if we can get some plays to work here so one of the things I'm definitely going to be looking for is trying to decide who to go with that wide receiver definitely drop in the comments who I should go with with wide receiver Starting with Alabama, already got the schedule set. Have all the rosters set as well. Got all the newcomers in there. I know you guys are excited about Leonard Taylor, James Williams. I definitely want to get them in there. Oh, nice throw. There we go. Nice, nice throw by Matoka. Jeremiah Payton, hopefully he does well. Okay. Go. Yeah. That's okay. A little bit of speed, but just not enough. Okay, so here it is. Freshman Jake Garcia switching up the receivers a little bit. Michael Ray in the third, another second year player to watch for. Man, there are so many receivers to look forward to. I don't have Brinson, George, and Smith in the spring for these practice right here. I plan on doing a couple practices just to give you guys a quick look but, and then do a spring game and then start the season. That's That's my plan. Definitely let me know what you guys think, what you want to see in these videos here in the off season. So basically our recruiting class ended up okay. And I ended up switching out some of the names, but didn't really mess with the ratings at all. I want to develop them and, and just go with the way the game sets it up. So we had some good off season movement. Some guys got better, so that was good to see. That's a tough throw. I want to throw that pass though. I need to get rid of it there, but 
Yeah, all of these quarterbacks, clearly a lot lower rating. There we go. That's a nice play. Get this running game going. This is that buck sweep play that I I really got used to during the season last year. I feel like we're going to run the ball a lot better. I picked it up in the second half, but the first half was so bad that all of my national rankings and, and stats were really low. But I definitely got a better playbook. The buck sweep play right here I really like. Kind of have to be patient on that first that first block and then get to the outside with some good speed. Switch it up here. Get a couple more runs in. And then I want to switch it up. Kind of get a different look. Don Chaney Jr. I know you guys are excited also for him and then Cameron Harris as well. So we get a few more plays in. One of the things with this practice mode, it gives you a lot of rep, quick reps at certain plays. Let's see if we can get some things going with Chaney here. Find a hole, hit the juke move if I've got it. Also drop in the comments, who do you want to be the starting running back? Definitely want to hear your comments about that. Whether it's Chaney, Knighton, maybe some of you guys like that, Franklin. Cameron Harris, who also is returning. Big season. I think we had him at about 800 yards. Um, definitely would have liked to have seen that number higher. And then Don Cheney Jr. was a great kick returner for us. But I want to mix that up as well. Man, there's so many things to get to. Pope. Oh, did not come up with it. All right, six. Come on. fell out. All right, we need to we need to cut down on those drops. Our receivers hopefully progress in the offseason well enough. Oh, this is not going to go well. Okay. Yeah, things are so much different with the Eric than these other quarterbacks. That's a nice catch by Pope. That's how you bounce back from a couple drops. Give them some opportunities. Harris open. They hit Harley on that cross, but I'll just give it to Harris a couple times. It doesn't look like I mean Harley's just not getting open on that. Okay, that was a silly play. We'll mix up. We'll go slants here. That's a play that I like as well. So Wiggins actually led us in receiving last season, over a thousand yards, and all. If you guys remember, all of the guys. Okay, not good. Top four guys all had uh, really close in catches. So we'll see how this season goes. And Pope progressed. I, I remember looking at the ratings. I think Pope progressed pretty well in the offseason so far. So definitely need those receivers to step up because I, I really feel like without Brevin Jordan, it's going to make a big difference. Hopefully Will Mallory has that strong rating. Any of these receivers take that big jump with Harley, Wiggins, and, and Pope. It's a nice play by Will. Definitely want to find him in the end zone. Big game against Alabama. I did set that up and also got Michigan State on the schedule. It was great to see. It's tough to kind of customize the schedule, but I was able to set those up. I like this seam route. We're just going to go Mallory here. Go hot route seat right up the middle. Okay, there we go. That might be a play we we look at for the season. If we can just yeah, that little ten yarder. That's something you see the Hurricanes use quite a bit with that seam route with their tight end. Even on a short field like that in the red zone. I remember being at practices and seeing them work on that play quite a bit. So that's something we're gonna keep in mind here. Okay, a little sloppy right now. I apologize. This is tough, though. Like, I feel like the defense is pretty good. Like I said, the quarterback ratings aren't real high. I don't even think Van Dyke set an 80. But we'll keep working on it, definitely. Yeah, that's 
it's a bit risky for sure. That's to Wiggins. Okay, we've got Garcia back here again. Oh, Jalen with that drop. A little rusty, I guess, after the injury. Yeah, it's just not working out. I do like that play though, that wheel route, that shark, halfback wheel. And I like to I like to scramble to the side and hopefully you can kind of freeze the defender. I found that play to work out quite a bit last season. One thing I'm thinking about too is I kind of want to cut down on the quarter length last year. I think last year was either eight or seven minutes. I'm thinking oh, it's a tough play. I'm thinking maybe go. I'm thinking maybe even six minutes just to shorten it up a little bit. Even though I know you guys really enjoyed it last year, but definitely drop in the comments if you have an opinion on that or anything else you'd like to see either better. Maybe give it a try if you have some creative ideas. I always like hearing you guys' comments. And the defense. I gotta get rid of the ball a little faster here. There we go. Ready with a few catches in the practice. I like to see that. There's a good catch by Jalen. Man, that's a tough play. I don't know why the linebacker. Yeah, Garcia's got some wheels. I like that. His, I like that he's got some agility back here. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, I want to hit that play. We got, we, got, we got to try that again. That roll out. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay, that did not work out. Daz Warsham, there we go. Nice catch. Man. D-Line is doing well. Also, let me know in the comments, we mixed and matched our offensive line so much last year. Definitely curious which five and, and where to put them. Nice catch by Rambo. Rambo's a transfer from Oklahoma. I'm glad that we got him on board here in the spring. Get him some work. Definitely want, I think he's going to be one of those guys, one of those top four receivers. So we'll see though how he does. Spring will be big for him, you know, if he's going to fit in. Trying to get these RPOs down with Van Dyke. Yeah, there's no chance I'm going to be able to run one in from him, but just want to make sure. Try to maximize it here. As we wrap this video up, again, just trying to get some reps in for the squad. Get a couple practices in before the spring game. And then we'll get into the season, the 2021 season. With all of the guys and Derek and everybody, definitely going to go with Derek in that opener against Alabama. Going to go real rosters with the Crimson Tide for sure. I'm definitely playing that game in Atlanta. Okay, a couple good runs by Cheney up the middle. I definitely want to have a better running season. That's like a huge goal of mine for this year. And then also, right at the end, we got beat out on the for the Heisman with King, and I, and I think interceptions were played a big part of it. So that's going to wrap it up. Definitely thank everybody for watching. Thank you for subscribing. You can find out more coverage of the Miami Hurricanes on InsideTheU.com. Definitely thanks again and take care.